Jennifer Lopez's Netflix documentary Halftime has caused quite a stir. It shows us a completely different side of the pop star. If there's one thing it has made absolutely clear, it's that the 52-year-old superstar wants to be taken seriously. In this video, we're talking about Jennifer Lopez's new documentary as well as some more related news. Let's dive in. First up, it's time we take Jennifer Lopez seriously. When Jennifer was growing up in the Bronx, she often felt undervalued. One of her sisters was considered the singer of the family, while the other one was often called the smart one. Jennifer, however, was just reduced to being seen as a dancer athlete. She wanted her family to know that she had more talents. When she broke out because of her character in 1997's Selena, she became the first Latina actress to get paid $1 million US dollars for a movie role. She then broke records when her film The Wedding Planner and album JLo shot to number one on the charts within the very same week. Since then, she's been one of Hollywood's biggest stars. She's been a judge on American Idol, Vegas residencies, dancing competitions, and many scripted network TV shows. She's been in multiple blockbuster films and is a household name. She even got to perform during the Super Bowl halftime show in 2020. But it isn't enough. She still feels undervalued. The 52-year-old actress wants to be taken seriously. She has previously talked about being offended over the Oscar snub for her role in the 2019 movie Hustlers. Lopez also mentioned that her work not receiving critical acclaim has affected her a lot. Shockingly, she doesn't even have any Grammys. And through this new documentary, we find out about all the grievances she has with the industry and more. Next, she's struggled a lot in the industry. Even though Jennifer Lopez soon became a Hollywood A-lister after the release of Selena, she faced a lot of backlash. There was quite a few persistent jokes about her ethnicity and her body. The documentary shows us some of the crass and racist jokes that were made about her in late night monologues and South Park. There were bits where she was shown as a cleaning lady, jokes about taco flavored kisses, and questions about her butt. The documentary also shows us some of the headlines about her so-called diva tendencies. While Jennifer doesn't really tell us about how she felt about the attention from the tabloids, she does bring out her boyfriend Ben Affleck at one point. Ben says that Jennifer once told him that as a Latina woman, she expected the backlash and double standards regarding her work and image. So yeah, Jen has struggled a lot. Body shaming and racism are always unacceptable. And it's a shame that so many women in the public eye have to go through stuff like this. And now, Jen called the shared Super Bowl performance the worst idea ever. Now let's talk about the most viral and controversial moment from this documentary. Jennifer called the NFL's demand for a shared Super Bowl performance the worst idea ever. Many people seem to think that she's throwing shade at Shakira, but that's not the case at all. She was basically annoyed that the NFL didn't expand the time to accommodate two Latina performers. But here's the weird thing. When the two are preparing for the performance, Jen treats Shakira as somewhat of an afterthought. At one point, she tells her manager that she proposed they sing Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. But obviously, Shakira pointed out that she wasn't born in the USA. We gotta say, it's not really a good look for Jen. Even if she was offended about the NFL's decision, there was no reason to treat Shakira like this. Jen was also angry about executives trying to cut out scenes of children in cages from her show. She wanted to spread awareness about former President Donald Trump mistreating refugees but wasn't allowed to by the NFL. However, we find out that including the Puerto Rican flag on stage was a pretty emotional moment for her and she actually got teary-eyed during the rehearsals. It's important to note that this documentary completely ignores the backstory behind Jen and Shakira performing at the halftime show. The NFL actually turned to them to help people forget that a few black performers, including Rihanna, refused to perform that year to show solidarity with Colin Kaepernick. Also, we'd like to add that so far, Shakira hasn't commented on this situation at all. If she chooses to speak out, it'll be pretty interesting to see her thoughts on all of this. So how has the internet been reacting? Jennifer has been facing quite a bit of criticism for her comments about Shakira, with fans saying that she should have talked about the Colombian superstar with more respect. Many have claimed that Shakira is actually more popular than Jennifer, and if anyone deserved a solo performance, it was her. Others have pointed out that the media is trying to pit the two stars against each other. Jen never said anything negative about Shakira 
and was merely offended about not getting to perform on the stage by herself. Her problem was with the NFL, not Shakira. Her documentary has also received quite a bit of praise for showing her come up and the problems she's faced in quite some detail. Many have claimed that it was super inspiring to see her overcome everything and become one of the biggest stars in the world. The documentary has been pretty successful and is currently in the top 10 of 66 countries all across the globe. And that's all about Jennifer Lopez demanding to be taken seriously. Now it's time to move on to some related news. Starting with Beyonce announces seventh album. The queen of pop is officially back. After a week of rumors and anticipation, Beyonce has revealed that her long-awaited seventh album, titled Renaissance, will be released on July 29. This will be her first album since her masterful 2016 LP, Lemonade. Obviously, the beehive is going absolutely insane. Queen B simply revealed the news by changing her bio to the album's name and release date. No further information about the project has been revealed, although some fans believe that it's going to contain 16 songs in total. Her website tells us that the album's box set will contain a CD, a t-shirt, and a collectible box which will include a 28-page booklet as well as a mini poster. Rumors about a potential Beyonce project had taken over the internet ever since the star removed the profile pictures from all her social media accounts. And now it's finally been confirmed. So folks, it's official. Beyonce is coming. We cannot wait. And now, BTS members to work on solo projects for a while. The world's biggest pop supergroup BTS has shocked fans by revealing that they're going to take an indefinite break to focus on their solo careers. The group dropped this news during their annual Festa dinner, which is part of a celebration that marks the group's founding in 2013. During a live stream of the dinner, 29-year-old Suga revealed that the band is going on an indefinite hiatus. Superstar Jimin said that the members were slowly trying to figure things out and that they're all starting to think about what kind of artists they want to be remembered as. He added that that's why they're going through a rough patch right now and that they're all trying to find their identities. J-Hope expressed that the group should spend some time apart so that they can all figure themselves out. He said that he hopes fans will not see this as a negative thing and see that it's actually a healthy plan. This news obviously generated a lot of anxiety amongst fans of the group, but Suga later reassured us that the group isn't disbanding. They were just living apart for a while. And as much as we all love BTS, if they need some time to figure stuff out, they've earned it. While we wait for the return of the band, let's all support the artists and listen to whatever they choose to release. Finally, Demi Lovato announces rock album. American pop star Demi Lovato has decided to try their hand at a new genre. They've announced that their new project is going to be called Holy F and that it's going to be a rock album. The first single for the project, called Skin of My Teeth, is already out and fans have been pretty divided. Many have called the song mediocre and derivative and are hoping that the album doesn't sound much like this. The artist has been in the news for their drug addiction in the past and now they've revealed that they were completely clean and sober while working on this project. They added that they're very, very proud of themselves. Good for you, Demi. We are all proud of you. The project will be released on August 9th. 19th and will include 16 tracks. Since there are still two months until the drop, fans are hoping that Demi will release a couple more singles to build anticipation for the project. Hopefully, these ones will be better received than Skin of My Teeth. Let's wait and see. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on Jennifer Lopez's documentary? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.